Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Ross from Unova, and we're back again with Pokemon White Randomizer Nuzlocke. And today we're back. I did some training in between episodes, so first we're going to do a quick team recap. So the team consists of, right now we have Adam the Growlithe, Barry the Bufalon, Rafiki the Panpour, um, Cleo the Nidoqueen, and then Aaron the Kakuna, who is now evolved. All right, so we are back from getting Pokeballs, and before we get this encounter, I wanted to let I wanted to let you guys know that the G Fuel recommendation of the week is the mystery flavor. So this is one of my top flavors. I wouldn't say it's top five, but it's definitely a good one. So I suggest definitely trying this out if it's in store. Um, I believe I have a review of it on my vlog channel, which I'll link below. Um, if I don't have that, still check out the vlog channel. There's some cool videos over there. So without further ado, we're gonna catch a Pokemon on Route Six. Okay, let's see what this is. Drum roll, please. It's a Pikachu! Okay. So we have an electric type uh, encounter. So. <clears throat> I'm gonna do one flame wheel. I don't think it'll kill it. And then. We use a Ultra Ball. That should be first try catch. And also, that is a full team if we catch it. Will this be? It's the first time in the Nuzlocke that we have a full team. So, pretty pretty excited with that. So, this is... What are we going to name this? We're going to give it a name, obviously, because we have to... It is a female Pikachu. Hmm. An electric type female Pikachu. This this doesn't really make any sense, but we're gonna name it Amy Rose um, from Sonic, just because I looked over, I saw the Sonic Peach Rings flavor, and um, if you guys know, in Fortnite there is a Naruto collab where. They have Sakura, Sasuke, all them, and Adam, uh, me and him play together all the time, and he he will always call Sakura Amy Rose. So this doesn't really, it doesn't make much sense with Pikachu, but it was fresh on the mind. So now we have Pikachu, or Amy Rose the Pikachu. Here we go. And here's Cristiano. Hey Ross, do you think Team Plasma could be in there? I, I do think they could be in there. I actually know they can be there. If we could go in. I'm trying to check, watching the audio levels, making sure they look good. God, dang it. I think it's because I'm here. He's like shivering. Alright, here we go. We get our challenge by Gent Marshall. Sent out Jigglypuff. We should be able to one-shot this thing. With Barry, at least. Uh, Adam, Adam can take it off. It, it would be so cool having beating the Elite Four with an Arcanine on the team. And honestly, I'm a big fan of um, Beedrill as well, so I think that would be pretty dope as well. Um, Adam's going to take out the Jigglypuff up right away, honestly. So, there we go. He's just about to send in Shaman. We're going to keep battling because hopefully we can one-shot this thing with a fire. With a flame wheel. Not a fire wheel. Use Magical Leaf. I did a lot of damage for not being very effective. We're going to go one more flame wheel. He only used Growth, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I wish I would stop going out of focus on the camera here. We use Flame Wheel. Do we take it out? Is it a crit? Ah. I don't want to lo lose Adam. I can never be too careful with a Shaman. Or any method. I could have done it. No, we would have taken it out. We're just going to use Horn Attack, though. And that should take it out. You guys know, you guys should know, we don't have the best of luck with um, 
mythical Pokemon on this channel, um, in this Let's Play, honestly. Um, if you guys remember... If you guys remember the last time we encountered a mythical Pokemon, it's a Victory Bell. We're going to switch out back to Adam. Last time we saw a mythical Pokemon, I believe, was Mew. And we lost our starter. Okay, we're just going to do Flame Wheel on Victory Bell. Hopefully this one shots it. Close. Use Razor Leaf. I'm gonna say that shouldn't do much. Flame Wheel again, and that should take it out. And then we are gonna heal up real fast with some potions and stuff after this battle because we're about to encounter Team Plasma. You never know what they could have. That gave us a lot of XP. I'm, I'm happy with that. It would be. It would be like Cristiano to just have a battle with us right before we see Team Plasma. I'm surprised he didn't, honestly, because it seems like every time we have something important to do, he tries to battle us. All of you, huddle around me. I can't, I can't take this cold. Uh, da, 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 da. They're hiding, blah, blah, blah. Understand, Z Z Zenzolin of the Seven Sages, put him up, because we're here, here, because here we come. Okay, let's take care of one each side. So, so I believe we have to battle four Team Plasma members. Three or four. It should be four. Analyst Chloe has a Turtwig, and we're leading with the fire. It, it's easy. Easy dub. Now, come on. This has got to be Adam's first one. Because every time I say it's going to be a one-shot, it's not. But I, I think this is it. I think this is a one-shot. It's not. <laughs> okay, why is that still a Turtwig? He's got a level 23 Turtwig. That should at least... That should be a Grottle by now. Oh, well. A Drudagon. we switch Pokemon. Here we go. We use horn attack. I figured that would happen. Slash, okay. Barry's gonna be level 35 at the end of the, the end of this battle. And we need to use potion again. Like I said, level 35. And we took out his team button. Got twenty dollars for winning. How am I supposed to win when I'm shaking because of the cold? Uh, sounds like an excuse to me, buddy. This is second Team Plasma member we are facing, and she has one Pokemon, Analyst Tia, and it's a Magmortar. Okay, so we need to switch out because. I'm gonna switch into Rafiki because he is level 20. Three. He did a lot for not being very effective. A water gun should. Mm. Holy hell. I, that's crazy. Oh, we might have. Holy hell, that is not okay. That's not okay, man. <laughs> and we're burned now? Oh my god. Come 
on, get a crit here. We avoided the attack, so at least, at least we got that going for us. But we are in a fire vortex, and we're burned right now. And we only have two hyper potions left. Mmm. Oh, that's not okay. Nothing I can do. It's a critical hit. It's it is what it is. Um, is it annoying? Yeah. It sucks. Um, I think he was. Definitely one of my favorite members of the team, but it happens. Okay, we're gonna forget a move real fast. Reversal is a fighting time move, and all-out attack that becomes more powerful the less HP the user has. And we're gonna forget Leer. We should be able to. We haven't got an encounter in the city either. I will check that in a second. So, this is the next Team Plasma member. I'm going to my channel real fast to see where the last two encounters were from. We got a Clefairy. We're gonna use a Flame Wheel. Okay, yeah, so we have an encounter here because the last place we got one was on the bridge. Uh, the bridge and then the route before where Alder was. I wasn't sure. I just wanted to make sure we weren't double dipping in encounters just because I'm trying to stick to the rules. And this cool fairy's just kind of getting shot on. Um, Adam took care of it easy. He's almost level 26. He got quite a bit of XP for that at least. I need to figure something out with this webcam. Mm -hmm. And this is the last one here. <sighs> That's unfortunate. We lost the Pokemon. At least it was only one. Um, knock on wood. Analyst Malcolm, and he has a Kangaskhan. It'd be nice if we had, um, Rafiki. But Adam is kind of putting in work right now. So, we are going to use Flame Wheel once again. I don't think that's... All right, so we're gonna send in none other than Barry right now. I just think Barry can get this over with pretty fast. King Son used Tail Whip. All right, we need to use Horn Attack again. Kind of our go-to. He just uses Tail Whip. He's asking for us to kill him. I'm just going to use Pursuit and get it over with. And there's one more Pokemon until we have beaten it. Team Plasma. And it's a Bonds League. And we're going to send in Adam to finish the job. I was wrong. I, ah, I, I thought of the typing wrong. Um, we're gonna send in Cleo. We haven't seen anyone besides Adam. And Adam and why am I blanking? Our boy Barry. 
So might as well see see somebody else on the team. We'll use double kick. It's super effective and it hit two times. And Bonsley just learned double kick. Hopefully we can get a crit here. And use Rock Throw again. And we'll use a Poison Sting to end it off. Oh my god. Why did I do that? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Use poison sands again to try to poison them. And we defeated Animal's Malcolm. <sighs> that sucks. And here comes C -c 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 Clay. And Team Plasma's out of here. Unfortunate. It's real unfortunate. But we get an encounter soon, so I'm excited still. We could have made a full team twice in one video just because we had it, we lost it, we could get it again. You guys ain't so bad. Yup, a promise is a promise. Come on and challenge my gym. So, next episode, we do have a gym to face because it has been 30 minutes. Um, it's been a pretty long episode so far. I'm gonna try to cut it down where it's not super boring. Um, first thing we're gonna do before we end though is grab this and then go get our new encounters. Alright, so our encounter for this area is right over here and it is a right away. A behemoth! Okay, okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. I like that. So we're gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch into Barry real fast. Just because he's level 35. Way ahead of it. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to lose a Pokemon, and I just want to catch it as fast as possible. Um, use Headbutt right away. It is a critical hit. We're just gonna go ahead and, and test our luck. Um, a net ball. We're just gonna go ahead and use an Ultra Ball. We're just gonna throw it and see what goes. See what happens. Come on. It shook. It did shake though, it did shake. Use a Psybeam. We'll do... We'll do one Pursuit. Oh, thank god. There for a second, I got worried. But we're gonna use an Ultra Ball. And this should catch it. It should. It should. I hope it does. And there's one shake. There's two shakes. There's three shakes. And then we didn't catch it. <laughs> and it used the Psybe. Okay. We have three more Ultra Balls. We use an Ultra Ball. And we throw. It goes in. It, it, it jumps out right away. Use the headbutt. And we're going to use a Hyper Potion. We need to catch this Pokemon, man. This would be so sick. What should we name it? I'm trying to think. So, we have to catch first, obviously. But, what is like... I'm trying to think of famous robots. Like, robots from TV shows. I could name it Baymax. That would be a cool name. One Shake. Two Shakes. Three Shakes. And it's caught. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna look up. It's a cerebral Pokemon. It uses psychic power to control an opponent's brain and tamper with its memories. That is scary. I'm not gonna lie. Um, famous robot characters. Hmm. We got R2D2, Optimus Prime. I'm just looking at a list of famous robot characters. Okay. 
Okay, what do we got? We've been going for almost 40 minutes here. Bender, C-3PO, uh, Ultron, ooh, Megatron, Mega Man, Android 18, Red Tornado, Clank, Grievous, Metal Sonic. Mmm. It's between. Mm, it's between Ultron and. Ah, we gotta go Ultron. Ultron is such a sick name. Ah, oh, this is so cool. So now Ultron is the sixth member of the team after we lost Rafiki. We're going to do a quick team recap just to kind of show you guys what happened, what we got this episode. Um, so, kind of summary. So we have Adam the Growlithe, who was honestly MVP of the episode. We have Barry the Bouffant, second MVP. Ultron the Bahiam, the newest member. We have Cleo the Needle Queen, Aaron the Kakuna, who evolved while training between episodes, Amy Rose the Pikachu. So we got a pretty solid team right now. I, I'm I'm happy with it. I'm glad we got Ultron on the team. I think he's gonna be a pretty pretty vital role. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode, and I hope you did enjoy. Um, hopefully there will be a next episode in the next few days. Um, now that I got the setup, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep putting out content as fast as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Much love, and I hope you have a great night. See ya.